Here we are with the biggest update of Dying Light 2 that has officially added guns to the game. But this update is not just about guns. It has so many new features, missions, new zombie types, weapons and the list goes on. So get ready because I'm about to tell you everything about this update and make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with everything Dying Light 2. Now let's talk about the update. So the first thing this update has added are new weapon and weapon types. Obviously the first one being the gun itself. We have got pistols, SMGs, rifles and shotguns and i know a lot of you guys are wondering how did the guns appear in villador well there's actually a new quest in the game called the lost armory where you will meet someone named jay who is actually the new agent that will later give you missions and rewards similar to the chapter agents but yeah once you start the quest you will learn how the guns are back in the city in fact in this quest you will actually unlock your first pistol but what about the other guns well you will find all the other guns also at the new agent jay who is also known as the watcher so just like the other chapter agents you will have to do some quests or bounties that you get from him and yeah by finishing these bounties you will raise your reputation rank to unlock the other firearms also to buy them you will need watcher tokens that you get every time you level up at the agent by the way the best way to get watcher tokens will be by doing the survivor missions or the elite missions i know it's a bit difficult but that gets you the most rewards also, if you're looking for ammo, then you can find some inside the military convoy or some random locations. But no worries because I will have a video for you guys on how to get all the guns and how to find the ammo easily. So make sure you're subscribed and the notification is enabled and you have selected the all option. Next, there is actually a limited time offer for a pistol called Haran pistol that you can get right now in the game for free. Yes, all you need to do is enter your game and check your stash and now you should be able to claim this Haran pistol for free. By the way, make sure to claim it before March 7, 2024 because after that this gun will be gone forever next we actually have some new firearm challenges around the map and here is a location for one of them by the way if i find more then expect a video on that too rest if you want to enjoy the guns earlier then you can also play some new firearms dedicated community maps now the gun spot is not over yet because there is another gun that we've been asking since release yes i'm talking about everyone's favorite scorpio from the e3 2019 demo gameplay and yes you can now get the scorpio weapon in the game for free but since it's an anniversary special we have some anniversary bounties available right now at the pilgrim outpost and basically by finishing these anniversary bounties you can easily get the hybrid scorpio weapon now the reason why i called it a hybrid weapon is because this weapon can be used like a gun and if you run out of ammo then you can always switch it to the melee weapon so yes it's a gun as well as a hammer by the way we're still not done yet because this is not the only reward you will be getting from the anniversary bounties there are actually in total of 12 bounties that you will need to finish within the next three weeks and by finishing these anniversary bounties you will be unlocking all of these items and yes that is a freaking nocturnal tribal machete from dying light one that's my favorite weapon from dying light one and it's finally here in dying light two i am very happy because of this addition and i'm going to be making a video teaching you how to get it easily also yeah you also get this Oculite outfit from the first game. By the way for all the Dying Light fans next week we're going to meet Tolga and Fatin in Dying Light 2. Yes the twin brothers will be here and we will be able to interact with them and talk about what they've been doing all this time. Not gonna lie I'm super excited to meet the brothers. Next we actually have a new bounty board in the game and it's basically called a boat quest that you can find here in this location. And yeah this board basically gives you new unique quests like for example Tolga and Fatin will also have their own quest in this board next week. Also don't worry when the new quest will drop I will remind you guys. Next Teclan has added some more nocturnal weapons in the game. Yes we have about 11 new nocturnal weapons in the game. So we have a new nocturnal medieval mace, nocturnal engine, nocturnal verbum, nocturnal ishmael, nocturnal heavy duty, nocturnal monarch, Nocturnal Reliable Axe, Nocturnal Stud, Nocturnal Enzo Katana, Nocturnal Smash, and finally Nocturnal Construction Hammer. Also, all of these weapons again you can get from the chapter Agent Harper. Next, I'm about to show you something that will literally blow your mind. Techland has been making some huge changes in the game and when I say huge, I mean changes done to the skyboxes, lighting system, zombie faces, changes done to the environment and etc. And yeah, here are the few examples of that. So basically I have few screenshots that I took before this update. So let's have a before and after look at these images. Check out this foliage system improvement and here is a before image. And here's the after image. You see the difference? It's a huge change. Next, as requested by the community, Teclan has changed the interior of few buildings inside this central loop.
Next, there are changes done to few locations and the environment to make it more realistic. They also changed few car models and even changed their placement on the road. Next we got some new skybox textures. Next we got few changes done to the lighting system. Next biters and virus looks have been overhauled and here's a comparison between the old and the new model. Next we have some hair quality improvements and finally some water reaction improvements. Not gonna lie but I was not expecting these changes, I mean Techland has been making some great changes recently so they deserve all the praises. Next we have got some new enemy variants in this update. The enemy is called Renegade Grenadier and here's what they do. Next we have got some changes done to the already existing zombies. Like electric biters and viral element effects are now less lethal and can be avoided with a timely dash. The next change is something that will make everyone happy. Basically they have fixed the spirit toxic damage pool stacking and they have also balanced his attack frequency. Next the duration of elemental goon elemental puddles have been reduced and now it allows for melee attacks when approached from the right angle. Next the banshees are now gonna make a use of goon's collar size. Now the next changes we have in this update is with the legend levels. So firstly if you die in the game and decided to get resurrected by survivors then you will no longer lose any legend level XP. But here's the best part, Techland has now added over 50 new legend levels in this update. So yes now it goes beyond legend level 250. And yeah they're basically calling it the platinum tier. So here are the 5 brand new upgrades that you will find inside the legend skill tree. The first one is called the master which will basically reduce the stamina cost of all the weapon attacks. Second one is called the immortal which will basically heal you when you do damage to any enemy with any melee weapon. Third one is called the expert which increases the damage done with the skills. Fourth one is called tank that reduces damage taken and is something I suggested to Techland so I'm glad it was added in the game. Fifth one is called hero that gives you a chance to land critical hits with all the weapon attacks. Also there are few minor changes too. Firstly the effects of sniper upgrade has now been moved to hunter upgrade and now the sniper upgrade will only work for firearms. The survivor upgrade has also been reworked to increase the stamina damage dealt by all weapon attacks. Next the price for respec of legend 250 has been increased to 50,000 coins. And finally we're going to get legendary bounties which will only be available to you after beating a weekly bounty. Also from the upcoming event bounties you will be able to get legend level XP and additional XP multiplier for new game plus as a rewards. And that my friends was everything added in this update. There are some improvements and fixes done to the game which you can see in this patch notes here. Basically just talks about the bugs that's been fixed, the duplication glitches that has been patched and also about how the crossbows and normal bows have now been buffed after the introduction of firearms in the game. And yeah that my friends would be everything for this video. Make sure you're ready for my other video where I'm gonna be talking about the secret changes and tutorial videos on how to get the guns and all the new items. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video till then stay safe and stay human.